Hey, what's going on? Julian Rosen here, head coach at Wake Up Wealthy, the number one performance coaching program for young men in business. And today we're going to talk about something very simple, how to overcome doubt so that you can make more money, so that you can grow your business, so that you can really leverage a growth mindset and become unstoppable, a bulletproof mindset where you become pretty much impervious to your obstacles. You become an, uh, a fearless action taker, right? And make no mistake, self-doubt, we work with people that are just starting in business. We start with people at the six-figure level. We work with people at the seven-figure level. We work with people at the multiple seven-figure level and every single one of them has doubts about something. So if you're watching this video and you're like, how do I, how do I get past this doubt? How do I overcome this doubt so that I can make more money? so that it can grow a business. You're not alone. I deal with a doubt. Everyone you look up to deals with doubt, unless they are a sociopath that doesn't have feelings. Every human being deals with doubt or imposter syndrome or, or, um, or fear, fear of judgment, all of these things, all of these mental things, man. Success is a mental game. Make no mistake. Success is a mental game because even the actions we take come from our mental state. So when you can truly leverage your mindset, when you can truly overcome doubt, which I'll show you how to do today, you'll be able to take better actions. You'll be able to have a better attitude about yourself, your life, your to-do list. You'll have a better attitude about money and you'll be able to make more money. I promise we've helped hundreds and hundreds of guys make this exact shift. And each time they are able to A, erase self-doubt and overcome doubt, but they're able to make more money as a result. So follow along. So the, the one important thing to know about self-doubt is it's a temporary thing. A lot of us think of, of doubt as a characteristic, as part of our personality. Oh, I'm just not a confident person. I'm a pretty, um, I'm a pretty insecure person. It's not, a, it's not a thing that's frozen in time. Doubt is just a state. Doubt is just a temporary, like, like wearing a shirt and then taking it off. Doubt is something that comes and goes. It's not who you are. It's not there forever, even if you've been struggling with it for a while. So the quickest and most effective way to overcome doubt is to really, is to really go like one level deeper and say, well, where is it coming from? I know sometimes when we really get stressed and we're reacting, we just, we're just like, oh man, I have all this doubt. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know why it's there. I don't know why it's there, but it's here. And I feel, I feel timid. I feel overwhelmed. And then that hijacks our decision-making. And that's a problem because our decision-making is, is how we make more money. When we improve the caliber and consistency of our decision-making, we make more money, right? And so it's like, when we can get to the root of where self-doubt is coming from, think about if you had a weed growing in your garden, picture that, right? And this weed was killing all your other plants, all your fruits and all your vegetables. Would it make sense to go up to, the, up to that weed, up to that plant that was causing all the problems and just cut the leaves off the top? That wouldn't work because the root of the problem is still there. The root of the weed is still there. We need to address self-doubt in the same way. We can't just distract ourselves from it, or we can't just avoid it. That's just like trimming the top of the weed. You got to get to the root, pull it out, and then it's gone forever. And here's what's awesome. Your body knows exactly where the doubt is coming from. If you actually think about the last time you've experienced self-doubt, or maybe you can experience it right now, thinking about things that intimidate you or thinking about um, problems that are overwhelming you, right? Think about it. You'll actually feel it in your body somewhere. Self-doubt is, is, is not just a mental phenomena. It's not to, it doesn't just live in our thoughts. You'll actually feel it in your body because your mind and body are always in communication. And so we've seen guys literally in 10 minutes, just by sitting down with a notebook, Exploring, hey, this feeling of doubt, where is it really coming from? Where is it really coming from? And if you get quiet and you get still, turn your phone off, right? Get, get a pen and paper and just sit without any judgment, without any expectation, without any assumption. Just sit and feel that feeling in your body. Find it, right? Close your eyes and, you know, for me, I feel it somewhere in between my chest and my solar plexus when I'm experiencing doubt or anxiety. Sink down to that feeling and explore it. Don't judge it. Don't filter it and just ask your body, where, where is this doubt really coming from? And a lot of times you'll find it's really just unresolved things from the past. 
unresolved experiences from the past that we've never truly acknowledged, we've never truly allowed to, to heal or come to completion. So when you can actually find out where the doubt stems from, think about a house of cards, right? When you pull the card out, when you knock out the foundation, the whole house of cards comes down. So when you can get to the real root of where the doubt comes from, because now you know it's not who you are. It's not a personality trait. It's a temporary sensation. It's a temporary mental state that we find ourselves in sometimes. When you can actually go, okay, well, if this is, if self-doubt is just something temporary, it's not who I am, I'm going to go find the cause. And when you can, again, get in some stillness with a pen and paper and literally ask your, ask your unconscious mind, where does this doubt come from? And then you just sit and listen without judgment, without expectation, without assumption, just sit and listen. You'll get an answer. You'll get an answer and it may not make sense because certain things that we store in the unconscious level don't always make sense to our conscious mind. They're two separate things that speak two different languages. But you will get clear on the root of it. You'll get clear on the root of it. And once you're clear on the root of it and you can make peace with where the doubt is coming from, it will solve itself. It doesn't take a bunch of therapy. It doesn't take a bunch of hypnosis or NLP, although those things can help. And I'll, and I'll give you a, a, a perfect example. I used, to, I used to put a lot of pressure on myself to please other people around me. And so I would experience self-doubt if I was thinking that other people weren't approving of me. Um, I would get very nervous, right? I would get very nervous and self-doubtful. I'm sure this is something that most people experience, right? And I was like, why do I get so nervous around other people? I'm a coach. I'm around people all day. I speak all day. I help people all day. Why do I get so nervous about it? And really, I said, where does this come from? And I sat with a pen and paper without any expectations, without any judgments. And I, and, I, and I came across a memory of my dad. You know, my dad is this really big dude uh, with a bad temper. And growing up as a little kid, if I messed up, he would really overreact. And, and again, as a little kid, you have this big six, three, six foot three guy yelling at you. Yeah, I learned how to become nervous. I learned how to become doubtful of myself. <sighs> and Instead of running away from it, instead of blaming other people for it, I just said, where is this coming from? And I got my answer. And then I was able to, again, like the house of cards, I was able to knock the foundation from self-doubt. Without, without a foundation, it can't live, right? Just like, again, back to the weed without roots. If you, if you remove the root, the plant can't live, right? And so where you, when you identify where it's truly coming from at the deeper level, which again, your body, your unconscious mind knows this, if you'll listen, right? You can actually erase the doubt. You can erase the doubt. Now, why is that important when it comes to making more money, right? We all want to make more money. We all want to overcome doubt and make more money, right? We've seen this hundreds of times at Wake Up Wealthy, so please listen, right? Where does money come from? Right? Money simply comes from a combination of the actions you take and the attitude that you have while you take those actions. The state you're in is just as important as the actions you take. I'll say that again. The actions you take are only as important. They're only as effective as the state you're in while you take those actions. And so a lot of us, we take action, but we have a bad attitude towards ourselves. We have a bad attitude towards money. A lot of us, we project a lot of our insecurities and a lot of emotional baggage onto money. Money is neutral. Money will show up when you appreciate it more. Money will come into your life when you change your attitude about it, right? So when you can improve the caliber and consistency of your actions, which we all can agree, when self-doubt is not present, do you perform better? Do you take better actions? Are you more consistent? Are you more concise? Do you execute more when self-doubt is gone? A lot of us, if we answer that truthfully, yes, when we're not worrying about self-doubt, when we're not worrying about something, when we're not doubting ourselves, we take better action. The caliber and consistency of our action goes up. Great, that will help you make more money. Also, when we're not experiencing self-doubt, our attitude improves, right? We have more fun. We begin to, we begin to instead of being afraid of people and afraid of problems, we, we gravitate towards people. We gravitate towards solutions, right? And this is proven with, with evidence-based psychology and, and even quantum physics. Like your attitude about the world influences how the world treats you. This, your life is one big mirror. So when you change your attitude about yourself and your actions, you will improve and your actions will improve. When you change your attitude about money, 
You deserve money. Money is on its way to you. Money is your friend. Money is not picking on you. Money is not favoring other people and bullying other people. Money flows where the attitude about money is welcoming and appreciative. So when self-doubt is gone, you're no longer worried about making enough money. When self-doubt is gone, your attitude about yourself and money improves and it expands. So eliminating self-doubt, these are up arrows indicating an increase, right? When self-doubt is gone, your actions, the caliber and consistency of your actions improve. We all can agree on that. And your attitude about yourself, about your life, and about money, your attitude improves when doubt is not present. So you have a lot to gain, my friend. You have a lot to gain by next time you're experiencing doubt, instead of wishing it away or judging it, use it as a gift. Ask yourself, where is this doubt really coming from? What is this doubt really about? And you'll get an answer. If you listen without, I'll say it one last time, without judgment, without expectation, or without assumption, you'll get an answer. And just making peace with that answer is enough to allow your brain circuitry to move past the doubt. It's awesome. It's an awesome thing to see someone go through this. And you can go through this too. This shit works very, very quickly, very efficiently. So again, when you can use self-doubt to get to the cause of the self-doubt and then let it go simply by acknowledging it peacefully, you can then improve your actions and you can improve your attitudes about your tasks, yourself, and money. When you improve the quality of your actions, you improve the attitude you have while you take those actions, you will make more money because money is simply a measurement of value. And when we use our energy and action in more valuable ways, more money shows up because life is one big mirror. So. If you ever have any questions about this stuff, just put them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about what we do at Wake Up Wealthy to help ambitious men like you overcome doubt, master your mindset, bulletproof your mindset, grow your business, make more money, help more people, and just enjoy life more, go to themasterymethod.com. Uh, I'm sure there's some links below this video where you can check out more. And again, last thing, if you like this stuff, like and subscribe. I don't want you to miss a lesson because every video we create is value-based to just help you, to empower you, to give, to give you guys the information that unfortunately no one gave us growing up when it comes to maximizing our own technology and actually becoming massively successful. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Go use this information and I'll see you soon.